Hi Stamping Friends, Melissa Kerman here with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. Today I have a drapery fold card project featuring the Needlepoint Nook Designer Series paper. This is one of my January-February free card kit program projects and there are details about this program in the video description below. So I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I sell all the products that I share uh, in my videos. So there is a blog post for each video that I publish and in that blog post you'll find a complete supply list of all the materials that I used and additional details and information about the project. So I've got one finished card and one card that needs to be assembled here and I'm starting with uh, assembling my little strip that's going to go down the middle. So I've started with putting a little bit of white glue down the center of that white strip uh, which is half inch wide and I'm taking a quarter inch strip of the balmy blue cardstock and um, attaching it right down the middle. And this piece is going to um, bridge the space between the drapery element, the designer series paper, and the top piece of cardstock that's going to be dry embossed with the lace embossing folder. So this piece of designer series paper measures one and a half inches by nine inches and it's scored at seven eighths and one and an eighth, one and seven eighths and two and an eighth. Keep going like that until you get all the way up to eight and one eighth. These dimensions will of course be on my blog post. So you can see here what I've started with is putting some adhesive along each of the pieces of designer paper that are sort of sticking up on the back side and then I'm also running some adhesive all the way down the center and that's just to help it uh, kind of fold up uh, so it's nice and, and tight. Uh, you don't want it to be so tight that you can't actually see the, the folds um, but you also want to help it to sort of stay together. So I've created a little method for making this a bit easier for people to make um, by using this um, strip of cardstock here. It measures approximately one inches by four and a half inches. So I've put adhesive along the back side of the folded um, element. And now I'm just using that strip of um, vanilla cardstock as sort of a backbone or an anchor. So now I can kind of adjust it and make sure that the drapery ends up looking rectangular shaped so that when I attach it to the card, uh, it'll have even edges on the left and the right and the bottom. And what I'm trying to get ideally is an eighth inch edge on the left and the right and on the bottom. So you can see I'm testing my pieces out there. I've already embossed my little white strip there, my white panel with the lace embossing folder. And I'm just going to place it uh, down there right on top of the drapery fold. And um, so I'm going to start by attaching my assembled drapery fold piece with some tear and tape. And um, since this piece is kind of on the bulky side, just want to make sure it actually stays down nice and um, strongly, if you will, on the card front. And I'm going to put another one down at the bottom as well. So when I'm assembling this, I'm going to put the lace piece on first uh, in case there's any overlap. And I've used snail adhesive here, but I actually would recommend using the liquid, the white multipurpose liquid glue, just to make sure that it holds down really well since this is a textured piece, has some raised areas. So I'm doing uh, that piece first and then I'm going to go ahead and remove the um, backings of the tear and tape and place the, um, the assembled drapery fold piece over the top. Next I'm going to take that piece that I assembled at the very beginning, the little white and um, balmy blue uh, cardstock piece, put some uh, tear and tape on the back because I want it to be super strong because it's bridging the gap between the embossed piece and the drapery fold element which are you know both have some thickness to them so the um, tear and tape is really strong and will hold that down and stay in place so I'm pressing it down nice and firmly and you want to make sure that there's adhesive all the way to the ends of that little strip as well so now I'm taking my um, old olive uh, twine and I'm gonna just do a little air bow and um, 
trim that off and attach it to the left side of that strip, the uh, balmy blue strip, with a glue dot. So because this twine is really uh, small and thin, I'm actually gonna take my roll of glue dots with my paper bursting tool and sort of roll up the glue dot into a ball, as you can see I'm doing there, and then putting it on the strip where I want the bow to be, and, um, and then attaching the bow to it. Last step is to do the sentiment, and as you can see, I've already stamped it on white, punched it out, and I've also punched out um, some uh, pieces with that same punch in the uh, balmy blue and the mossy meadow ink. You can see it's uh, cut down the middle on the back side and then just uh, placed on the back side of the white sentiment um, to give it an edge on the top and the bottom. I hope you've enjoyed my project today and this video and if you did please uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, share the video with friends. I'd so appreciate it. And keep in mind that in the video description below, there are links to all kinds of resources on my website, including a link for more information about my free card kit program. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today, and happy crafting!